I'm Robert Hall from AT&T Labs Research. Geocast uh, is, a, is a set of instructions for the network uh, part of these devices that enables them to hand the messages to each other until they, and going in a certain direction until they reach where they're going and they get to everyone there. What will happen in a disaster such as an earthquake or, or some other type of, of, of big disaster is it'll break parts of the, the, the installed network base because they're just you know, attached to buildings or in basements or what have you and they get, get broken by, by this disaster. And so the idea is that if we have handheld devices that people carry with them that are capable of doing the geocast protocol, the emergency responders can show up with their command console a lot like a laptop and by doing authorized commands, uh, send geographic queries out to, let's say, a collapsed building and get responses back so they can map out the locations of, of the devices that are in that area. Um, they can uh, send alert messaging to those devices to issue instructions. There's other game concepts. For example, you could have a volleyball game where I have an, a ground area I'm defending and you have one, but let's say you're in San Antonio and I'm in San Francisco and we're playing across the network but it can be simulating the ball flight and I have to run to get under the ball where you've hit it. So a simulation like that. A lot of different geographic games. The point of this being to get people playing video games but running around and outside while they're doing it, which we think is a healthier way to go. So the protocol is uh, at, a, at a mature stage of, uh, of readiness for, for transfer into the commercial and public safety areas. Um, what we need, uh, so I have a set of prototypes that operate on smartphones right now and laptops and other other mobile devices but what we really want is to push this uh, into all devices 